Hey guys, Fabaluki here today, and welcome to another redstone tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at kind of a combination lock, more of a puzzle kind of base thing to open doors or activate any sort of redstone circuit. Now we walk up here, we can see we have five levers, or levers for those of you who prefer to pronounce it that way, uh, and they're labeled A, B, C, D, and E. Now there's only one combination that will allow us to open this door, and the answer is it's Abe. So that's A, B, and E. And our door opens. Now, if we were to change any of these levers, so put that one down, it will close. Put that one down, it will close. And so on. So basically, there's only one combination that will open the door. Even if you put all of them down, it's not going to open. You can only have Abe. Abe is the only answer to opening this door. Uh, and this is actually a relatively simple task to do. What you're seeing at the back here is just a modified AND gate. And if you'll remember from our Logic Gate tutorials, uh, num at number 8, I believe, in this series, if you want to go back and look at it, um, this is our AND gate. I'm just going to rebuild it real quick, and I'm just going to grab some redstone on that. Uh, and basically, what our AND gate does, for those of you who cannot recall it, it requires that both inputs be on, so one and the other. So this one must be on. We'll just get a bit of a redstone line coming out here so you can see. To be able to turn this output on, both of the inputs have to be on. If we turn one off, it doesn't go on, and if we and if we only have one, it doesn't work, we have to have both. And then the output is on. So that's our AND gate. Now, we don't have to just have two inputs with an AND gate, we can have multiple inputs with our AND gate. So we can make a three input AND gate, we just have to design it a little differently. We'll just do it like this for now, so we're just going to grab a repeater. So if we want a three input AND gate, if I do it this way, I'll just move this around a bit, shuffle it around, like this. Now. We almost have a three input AND gate, but we need to change the back of it here. We're just going to put a single redstone line that comes along here, along all of the torches, and put a torch on the side. Now we have a three input AND gate. We have to have all of these off, well, all of these on. All the to We need to turn off all the torches for the output to be on. So you can see we have two, three, it comes on. If we turn off one, it goes off. So you can see we have to have all three. Now, this is the same principle we have going on over here. I'm just going to sort of talk you through it a bit, and then we'll build it together. So if we come around the back, we actually have where we, where we have Abe. So we know A is here. A, B, and E is the last one. So the first two and the last. So we can see we have repeaters coming from A and B and from E. And those go directly into the torches to turn them off. Now, because we don't want these two levers to do anything, and we don't want them to open the door, we just have to invert their signal. And we do that by having a torch coming out of the wall, and inverting the signal up here. And I'll explain that a bit more when we build it in case you're a bit lost. So right now we're just going to go ahead and build it. We'll build it just over here. First we're going to go ahead and grab an iron door, put it down, and we can just build a little frame around it to make it look a bit nice, like so. And then we're going to have our levers coming over here. We'll do five again. You can do more than five of course. Uh, and we can do a different combination this time. So this, this is how we want to start it off basically. We have our levers, we have our door. Easy. Now, this is where you want to decide which levers you want to open the door. I think we're not going to do A, we'll do something different. Maybe if we do first, the middle, and the last three. So we're only going to have this one up. And that's probably a pretty easy one to guess as well, in case you're, if someone just comes along and guesses it. But that doesn't matter. So we're going to do these, th these four are going to activate it, and this one isn't. So to start this off, we're going to put blocks where we have the torches we want to activate it. So the ones we want to be on, these... These four we have selected. We're going to have repeaters coming out the back, and we want them to be on. So you can see they're on, and now this one, that we don't want to activate the circuit, we're going to put a torch on the back of that one. And you're going to see, when we flick this, it will actually go off. But for now, we'll leave it on. And it's pretty simple from here. So we're just going to build in front of the repeaters like this, so it comes straight, the, block, the repeater goes straight into the block, and we're going to do it all the way along. And because we know a redstone signal going into a block turns off the torch above it, all these ones are already done. However, this torch is not able to turn off that one. And the way we can fix this is we put a block above it, and instead of having the torch on top of this block, we put it on the side. Because what is happening here is, as we pull the lever, we pull it down, it turns off the torch on the other side of the block, which in turn allows the torch above to turn on. And that allows us to make sure that when this lever is down, the circuit will not open the door. So, we've got a, a big long AND gate here. We just need to build the redstone wire at the back, which is going to be here. So we just put a wire all the way along, like this. 
And then we have to put a torch on the side because we need to invert this signal. When this signal here is on, we want the door to be closed because that's the incorrect uh, like combination. So to open the door now, all we have to do is get the redstone signal and take it to the door. Um, except not pass this because you'll see that this is wrong and this is powered on. I just, I just realized this myself because uh, this repeater here is powering this block which then powers the redstone. So we've got to watch out for that kind of stuff. So what we'll do instead, we'll put the redstone directly below the torch and like that, and that will work as well. So now we know the answer is going to be the first one and the last three. So if we take up this one, we'll see that the door opens. And if we activate any of the others, you can see the torch is going back there. No, no other combination is going to activate this door. Only the one that we set is going to make it work. So if we wanted to change it to Abe, which is a very nice one, I might add, uh, all we have to do is then make the inputs Abe, so A, B, and E. So we're going to get rid of these two and change it into an inversion. And put our blocks above, and we move these two torches onto the back of these two blocks. And we put one there. And now our answer will be Abe. It's Abe. That's what it's going to be. So we need to go like this, and our answer is A. So it's A, B, and E. And there you go. That, that's how you do a little sort of simplified combination puzzle slash lever entrance to your house or your door or whatever you're trying to unlock or hide. Uh, I think it's a really cool, a really simple way to do it as well. Um, I personally like doing it anyway. It's good fun. Uh, I think in future we'll build on this sort of combination lock idea. We'll do a few more advanced things with it as well. But for now, this is pretty good. It's basically just a giant AND gate. Uh, and that's how it works. Anyways, guys, I'm Flabaliki, and thank you for watching this episode of Redstone Tutorials.